Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk more about enolates focusing on kinetic and thermodynamic enolates. Uh, in the last video, I just introduced the concept. I used acetone, which was symmetric. It only had one enolate uh, ion, but this ketone, 2-butanone, has two possible enolates dis disregarding possible stereoisomers. You can form an enolate at the less substituted position and an enolate at the more substituted position. And it happens that the enolate at the less substituted position is the kinetic enolate. It's favor it forms more quickly because it's less substituted, less steric hindrance. But the enolate at the more substituted position is the thermodynamic enolate. It, it forms, it is more stable. And so it uh, but, and and it, you might expect that because the only difference here is the position of the alkene and more substituted alkenes are more stable. All right, so this enolate is going to be formed in conditions that favor the more stable enolate. And if you ex talked about, if you have studied reactions where thermodynamic and kinetic control have appeared before, you might be prepared for the types of situations uh, that we can favor one or the other. So for example, uh, you may already know that low temperatures tend to favor the formation of the kinetic enolate. We might be talking like minus 78 degrees Celsius. And we'll render that degrees Celsius. So hold on, I'll just do this, right? And you might know that higher temperatures might favor the formation of the thermodynamic enolate, so we might actually be you know, talking in the 0 to 20 degrees Celsius range. Right? And minus 78 is, is really cold, and you might be want, thinking that that's a sort of arbitrary, like 0 is the freezing point of water and 20 degrees is around room temperature. Well, minus 78 is the temperature of dry ice, so it's not actually, a, it seems arbitrary, but has a logical origin. So temperature is just one way that we control the outcome, but it also uh, our choice of base can, can play a role. Oops. If we use LDA, which is a bulky base, it has two big isopropyl groups on it, right? So if you forget what, uh, what the structure of LDA is, LDA is this thing that I'm drawing over here. This is sterically hindered. And sterically hindered things tend to prefer the kinetic product for, for steric reasons, right? So you're going to get a preference of kinetic enolate in bulky base, and you're going to get a preference for you get a preference for the thermodynamic enolate with a smaller, less sterically hindered base like sodium hydride. It's also worth noting that if you were to use a weaker base, like say sodium ethoxide in ethanol, at whatever temperature, probably room temperature or higher. Because this reaction is, an, is much more in equilibrium. Uh, anything that favors the establishment of equilibrium is going to favor the, it's going to favor the thermodynamic enolate. There's one other trick that some people out there play, and it's just worth noting to you. Uh, that you can actually get the thermodynamic enolate with lithium diisopropyl amide. 
let's, let's just talk about that. And, and at low temperatures. Uh, and so here's how that works. If you use 1.05 equivalents, so just a slight excess of LDA, you get the kinetic enolate. But if you use just a slight under, so, so 0.95 equivalents of LDA, the reaction switches and you get the thermodynamic enolate. And so what happens is initially at the end of these conditions, you get conversion to the kinetic enolate, but there's still a little bit of ketone left behind and they can equilibrate. So that's, that's a pretty cool trick that some people have figured out. And this is a again, since there's unreacted ketone left behind, there's some equilibration that can happen. So this video, I want to remind you, helps you understand that your base choice can give you control over which enolate forms on a non-symmetric ketone. In the next videos, we'll start talking about some specific uh, reactions that occur with, with specific electrophiles at the alpha positions. Thank you for watching.